New session getting underway here in Albany, and it's an exciting time for everybody as newbies and those who have been around for a little while get their feet wet into a session that's going to be very busy for everyone. We are pleased to have Maritza Davdiala, who is with us, who is uh, representing the 53rd district in Brooklyn. Thank you very much. And one who has been around here for a little while and has done yeoman service and is shifting gears and getting more committee memberships under your belt than I can believe. Yeah, well, it's exciting and this is yeah. what it's about is um, trying to tackle as much as you can while you're here and representing your district. <laughs> well, you certainly are going to be tackling a lot of things here <laughs> and uh, ma many of them are, are linked together certainly. Social services covers a multitude of areas which you kind of also have worked into. What, what will you be focusing on in the social service aspect? Well, we need to start thinking about um, more resources for uh, people that just can't afford to live in the city anymore. Um, we also have to start thinking about uh, education as it stands now because uh, districts like mine are um, in, they're just not being treated equally. And uh, we see a lot of progress in some schools, but in some we don't. Um, we also have a large number of children that are um, in the hands of uh, the courts right now because either they're going through kinship, foster care, and all of these things we need to iron out. Our laws are really antiquated and we need to start targeting what is really truly important to those people that really need the help. Well, that, that's, you're invariably talking about increases in funding, right? Right, to absolutely. Get more people to help out, more qualified people to help out. Absolutely. And more uh, possibilities for absolutely. these people in need. That's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be a fight for the almighty dollar as there always is every year, isn't there? Well, I mean, the good thing about it is that the Democrats have the Senate as well. So it shouldn't be that hard. It's just uh, trying to come to a consensus where that money is really needed and where it's going to be implemented. It, it, you're, you're also involved with uh, committees on, on, on drugs and family and children and so forth, but, but also economic development. And that's one of the areas that is going to help fund some of these things, as Absolutely. well as have people with jobs and so forth so they can live more effectively. Absolutely. What, what, what are your thoughts in the economic development area? Well, I, I, I could speak for my district. My district is undergoing a, a gentrification and um, we've lost a lot of small businesses. Uh, but at the same token, there's areas that have uh, new existing businesses and businesses that, that are flourishing and I think that there needs to be a, a mixture of both. Um, we also have a, a big manufacturing zone in my district. We have ramen, we have other factories that still are in existence in my district and so when you put all of those elements together you people from the community benefit. They have a job and not to mention that we are now paying $15 an hour so that's that gets them over that small hump of, uh, you know, trying to at least bring food to the table every day. Now, are those factories in, in danger in any way? Are they uh, no, being no, threatened these, uh, or these doing factories, well? And no, not no at problem? all. They are, they are now, like I said, these are big companies like the ramen company. Yeah. We have the wonton company. We have a lot of Sometimes companies. gentrification and manufacturing come into conflict. And you mentioned the gentrification that, that is happening all right. around you, so it's... But I also have a very vibrant community. Um, we have organizations that do fight for the rights of the people in that community, whether it be small businesses or the average person that has been living in their um, rent-regulated apartment for years, that they don't, they, they're not pushed out of their apartment. So we have great organizations um, and our community is very very um, vibrant and they and these are people that have been there for for years 
Well, and the rent regulations are being restored this year, are they not? Uh, oh, we're here to fight. We're here to eliminate a lot of those laws that are not beneficial to, um, to low-income people. And I think that's what it is. You know, New York City is about having different classes of people. I, you know, it's fine if you make six figures, but if you make $30,000 a year, how are you able to survive in, in, a, in a city that is just inundated by towering buildings and incomes that are like the area medium incomes are, are over 100%? It's, it's insane. We have to find a, a common ground to be able to have everyone live under the same community. Are you getting support from the rest of your colleagues uh, in, in both the uh, Assembly and the House uh, and the Senate uh, in well, this we regards? Well, this is our first day, so we have the, I, I can't say we, we have or we haven't okay. because it, it is our first day, so yeah. now we're, we're ready to roll up our sleeves and give it a good fight. Busy, busy year in store. Maritza Davila, our uh, guest on the opening day of this session here in Albany. It is quite a time for everybody. I know you're going to be one very busy assembly woman. No question about it. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Wish Thank you the you best. Very, much. very exciting. 53rd District of Brooklyn is what she represents. Glad to have her with us as well as you with us on this edition of Meet the Leaders. And I'm David Smith.